Rick Sparter here. This is a follow-on video to uh, the previous one which showed how to uh, control the downward feed of a bandsaw using a rod and o-ring. Uh, coming out of some very productive discussion on the uh, Yahoo 4x6 bandsaw site uh, came up with this idea. Here you see that same rod I used before, but now instead of the O-ring, got here a piece of thick wall tubing. Let's slide that on. And then I'm sliding on small hose clamp. I'll tighten that down. And the clamp provides some nice uniform pressure to the piece of tubing to vary how tightly it grabs the rod. And then I'm using that, uh, I have some cross feed cylinders, cross drilled cylinders uh, that I put on. It's pretty much like a, uh, a washer. So put the rod down there in the, in the hole. And I can vary the feed rate by tighten it all the way down. Doesn't move at all. So I'm gonna just slowly turn that until I like the feed rate. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can cut that sheet metal without distorting it. And you see that it fed down nice and smooth. If the blade kicks up, it's not a problem because the uh, the down feed only supports it. It doesn't prevent it from rising. And now to uh, reset the mechanism, I just pull on it, slide it back, and I'm ready for the next one. So uh, in my quest for looking for a simple alternative to uh, hydraulic cylinder where uh, it's only for occasional use, I think uh, I may be finally satisfied. So uh, unless there's some further discussion, I'm going to move on to uh, just my next adventure, whatever that is. So that's all for now. Bye.